Welcome to School 2020. In this video, we will discuss about complex tissue and its types. Complex tissue. Tissue composed of more than one type of cell is called complex tissue. Complex tissue conducts water, minerals and prepared food and this is why they are also called conducting tissue. They can be grouped into two types, xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem together form the conducting structure of the vascular bundle. This is a structure of xylem. Xylem. There are two types of xylem, primary and secondary. Xylem developed during primary growth from the procambium is called primary xylem and it is two types, protoxylem and metaxylem. Metaxylem develops after the protoxylem before secondary growth and its cells are usually longer. Protoxylem is distinguished by narrower vessels developed from smaller cells. The xylem grown during secondary growth from the vascular cambium is the secondary xylem. Tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers are the constituents of xylem. Tracheids their cells are elongated with slender and sharp ends. After lignification, their lumen may become narrower. In that case, transportation of water occurs mainly through the lateral paired pits on their walls. Thickening of walls is of different types, such as elliptical spiral, scalariform, reticulate, and pit. They are found in ferns and gymnosperms and are also present in the primary and secondary xylem of angiosperms. Their main function is to provide sap conduction related organs with proper rigidity. Sometimes they store food. Vessels They are short, tubular in structure and are connected from end to end. They develop a long tube when their terminal walls are dissolved. In their early stage of development, the cells are filled with protoplasm by losing their living character. A vessel is several centimeters long but may be much longer in trees and creepers. They are found in almost all parts of angiosperms. Some advanced members of gymnosperms such as netum contain primary type of vessels. Their main function is to transport water and minerals and to provide the organs with proper rigidity. Xylem parenchyma The parenchyma cells in the xylem are called xylem parenchyma or wood parenchyma. Their walls may be thick or thin. In the primary xylem, their walls are thin and in the secondary xylem, walls are thick. Their main function is the storage of food and transportation of water. Xylem fiber The sclerenchyma cells in the xylem are called xylem fibers or wood fibers. The ends of this type of cells are tapereds. Mature cells do not contain protoplasm and so become dead. These cells provide plants with mechanical support. They are present in the xylem in dicots. Transportation of water and minerals, storage of food and giving mechanical support and strength to plants are their main functions. Phloem and this is a structure of phloem. The phloem tissue organizes the vascular bundle in association with the xylem. The xylem transports water as raw materials of food and the phloem conducts food produced in leaves to the different parts of a plant. This type of tissue is composed of sieve tube, companion cell, 
phloem parenchyma, and phloem fiber. Sieve cell. Sieve cells are arranged end to end and make a tubular structure called sieve tube. The cells are separated from each other with a sieve like plate called the sieve plate. The protoplasm in a sieve is closer to the wall so that a hollow lumen is developed for the conduction of food. Their walls are lignified and mature sieve cells do not contain nucleus. Companion cells and sieve tubes are present in the phloem of all the angiosperms. Their main function is to conduct food produced in leaves to the different parts of a plant. Companion cell. A parenchyma cell is found. Along with each sieve cell, its nucleus is much larger. The nucleus of a companion cell controls some activities of its neighboring sieve cell. A companion cell is turgid with protoplasm and thin walled. They are not found in the phloem of ferns and angiosperms. Phloem parenchyma. The parenchyma cells in phloem are called phloem parenchyma. This type of cells are thin walled. These cells have protoplasm like other parenchyma cells. They help to store food, store and conduct food. They are found in ferns, gymnosperms, and angiosperms, but not in monocots. Phloem fiber. Phloem fibers are parenchyma cells. These long cells are arranged end to end with each other. They are also called bast fibers. Example given the fibers of jute. These types of fibers are developed at the time of secondary growth of plant parts. Pits are present on the walls of these cells. Through the phloem tissue, food produced in leaves and stored in roots are simultaneously conducted up and down. If you like our videos, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel.